Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at another really weird opening. Um, if you missed the first one, then go back and check the Orthoschnapp Gambit. Um, that one's a fun one. So yeah, let's uh, get right into it. This is our, uh, another opening that we're gonna be taking a look at. And this one comes uh, from a Queen's Pawn opening. And it comes uh, from a Benko Gambit, actually. So if you're familiar with the Benko Gambit, uh, you'll know that's a pretty interesting opening, and it's uh, actually a pretty sound gambit here. So in this case, black will play pawn to b5, and the idea is that they're going to try and sacrifice both these pawns and gain a lot of activity um, down the a and b files, probably Finketo, their dark square bishop. So yeah, that could definitely uh, be a thing. However, in this, uh, in this game, we're going to be seeing something else entirely. So again, this a6 move. Um, instead, knight c3, instead of capturing. This is still, um, you know, nothing to be too afraid of or weirded out by. Um, this can be really common. White can play knight c3 and then capture at some later point or just let it sit there for a while. Um, but anyway, um, in this game, black is going to go ahead and capture and then white will play this fairly odd move. They're going to play e4, which doesn't seem uh, very logical because black can try to kick the knight off and then try to take on e4. And so that's what they do, pawn to b4. Um, and then we have the gambit. We have knight to b5. In this move, now you should be able to see Right up here, we have the Benko Gambit half accepted Zaitsev Nescafe Frappe attack. So, yeah, that uh, is the only opening that I'm aware of that is named uh, after some sort of brand. So, if you guys uh, drop something in the comments below, if you know some other chess opening that is, uh, you know, another weird one, then definitely let me know. But this is the only one that I really know of that, you know, you know, next thing, you know, we're going to have like, oh, Apple, the Apple attack, the Apple computer attack. Um, who knows? But anyway, knight b5, this is a really strange move because the knight seems like he's not really going to do anything on this square. Um, but it sets up a really, really tricky trap. So there's a hanging pawn here. Why not? Let's go ahead and grab this one. And now if you were white, what would you do here? Pause the video if you need to. Okay, so if you found queen e2, then good job. This is uh, a really interesting idea because after this knight moves, um, then black is going to have a problem with their king. So knight f6 is just going to be game over after knight d6 checkmate. And other moves don't work here. So um, unfortunately, I I know about this opening because I played uh, with the black pieces once, um, and yeah, after queen e2, then I saw that um, things were not working out. So um, yeah, we'll go over what needs to be done here. Um, but anyway, after queen e2, black can try f5, but this still doesn't work because white can simply play f3, and then they're going to pick up this knight, or um, they're going to be dropping material, right? Um, and also notice that it seems like it gives white, uh, sorry, it gives black a flight square, um, but the knight actually covers that one as well. So it's very brutal, and uh, there's no escape. So you have to just drop a full piece um, and be in a total losing position. So yeah, this is this is kind of a pretty checkmate. Um, so last thing before I let you guys go, uh, we have to see what should be done here. So b4 is still a perfectly reasonable move. After knight b5, then it's probably a good idea to play d6 here, um, just that we give it an extra escape square. We make sure that uh, no funny business can happen here. Um, yet still, sometimes white will play e5 anyway, and now we can at least get this guy. And then after bishop c4, and then g6, d6, e takes d6, bishop g5, and then uh, another very strange move, rook a5, 
um, then black has really good chances here because um, they're keeping an eye on this guy uh, at some point when it's safe. Um, black can think about trying to think out of their bishop. Right now they need to think about d6. But overall they have a really strong center. Um, so this is going to be a powerful position for black. So now you guys know what to do against the Nest Cafe Frappe attack. And um, yeah, if you found this interesting at all, then please drop a like. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So long for now.